Today we want to show you how to make a smoothie. We want you to know that a smoothie doesn't just have to be a simple fruit drink, but that it can actually be a meal. Today I'm going to use a mango. Oftentimes I use bananas as well. Um, I like my bananas to have some freckles on them, and right now we don't have any ripe bananas. So once again I'm going to use a mango. And with the mango, um, pineapple, and some of the other tropical fruits, we're not as particular about them being organic, whereas our other foods, we are pretty particular. Apples, oranges, um, particularly the berries, are organic. We have our bottle of hydrogen peroxide. This is just straight hydrogen peroxide pour it into our bottle and we use this to clean our fruits and vegetables during the day. When the children have snacks, they'll come over here and use it as well. And this is a reverse osmosis system, so we've got pretty purified water, filtered water anyway. The other thing we do is um, we don't use paper towels. We have a bucket of 100% cotton cloths that we keep by the sink and so when the children want a snack they can come over and um, wash their food and grab one of these and then we just wash them instead of using paper towels. Generally depending on the oranges, um, sometimes with the juicing oranges, it's a little hard to peel, but today I have a nice organic Valencia orange, and they're nice to peel. And what I like to do with them is go ahead and put a half of orange in the smoothie all together. But again, with the juicing oranges, a lot of times I'll just cut those in half and squeeze the juice into the blender. to go through each section here and just make sure that there aren't any seeds. Toss those. And then the children usually like to split the rest of the orange. And since it is strawberry season and we have these beautiful tasty strawberries, we're going to go ahead and use those in the smoothie. They are organic. I also have my uh, compost bin down here. And we'll go ahead and put this into the compost bin. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start adding um, what I use as my protein. We have almonds, organic raw almonds, we have organic raw hemp seeds, and uh, also you can use a avocado, whether a whole or half depending on the amount that you want. Um, I do want to talk to you a little bit about the nuts and seeds because right now the FDA has allowed um, the labeling of nuts and seeds to say raw, even if they have gone through a pasteurization process, and it is not true, they have, are not raw, and um, they have been damaged through that process. And so it's very, very important when you're working with um, raw foods, raw living foods, that you check your sources. Um, you can't always trust what's on the labels. We've had to actually go to the sources and start questioning whether or not they've been pasteurized, how they've been treated, what, what's the temperature they've been processed at. Because we really do not want to deal with any foods right now that have been over anywhere between 100 and, well, really around 115. We don't want any foods that have been heated above that temperature. And it's becoming a challenge in the area of nuts and seeds to find such. 
and they are available. You do have to do your research, but um, they are accessible. It just takes a little bit of work. The other thing we also use in the smoothie is um, raw eggs. Uh, we really have come to enjoy our raw eggs in our smoothie. These are actually um, pasture-raised, organic pasture-raised eggs, and um, this is another area that you really start need to start thinking about because um, just because something says they're natural or cage-free does not mean that they're being raised in an environment that is healthy. Um, I, we choose these. These are actually locally raised, and once again, they're pasture pasture raised, which means that these chickens are allowed to be out in the pasture, have grasses and um, bugs, and um, they're the foods that they would naturally have access to by being out in the pasture. Well, um, I'm just very particular about the eggs and. We really want them to have a dark colored yolk, dark yellow. Almost sometimes they can even have an orange colored yolk. The fun thing is, is that if you look closely at these yolks, you can see a little white dot. And what's fun about the little white dot is simply means that they're fertile, which means that there is a rooster that is out there running around with the hens like God has designed them to do. So. Let's see, I'm going to, today I think I'm going to use almonds in my smoothie. Um, I usually put a handful, usually put a nice handful of almonds. And once again, you have an op the option of organic raw hemp seeds, or you can use avocado as well. And sometimes I'll even soak the almonds overnight before I use them. Now we're using organic wild blueberries. And I'm using organic blackberries. The other thing we use in the smoothies is coconut oil. I generally like to use, um, I use one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil because I like to have at least two tablespoons of coconut oil a day. The coconut oil we use is organic virgin coconut oil. The other thing that I really like to add to my smoothie is raw cacao powder, which is simply raw chocolate. So I probably put in a good, maybe heaping teaspoon of raw cacao. We are very thankful and have enjoyed the flavor of the raw chocolate. The other thing that we we could throw in there is the goji berries. We have enjoyed these superfoods as well. Um, the children enjoy just snacking on these. We throw we can throw them in the smoothies, and we've made lots of other treats with them and trail mixes, and those are really enjoyable as well. But today I'm just going to stick with this combination. I'm just hoping that um, usually the fruits are moist enough that this is actually all I need to do. I go ahead and add my egg at the end because I just want to give it a little whirl. Okay, now it's smoothie time. Looking forward to this. Usually my smoothies are pretty thick and I do use a spoon with them. Now remember this is more of a meal than it is just a drink. Um, it's loaded with good stuff, it's in a form that's easily digestible, and it's all living. 